Aaron Brady here uh, for Glazier. Uh, I'm at St. Mary's Reagan High School in Maryland. I'm going to talk to you about some drills you can do uh, without pads, whether it's off season or in this current condition for some of the states, like for us in Maryland. Uh, we, we, we're not practicing at this point. We have no pads, but we still want to work on some of the skills that are important to be successful. And these skills go both sides of the ball, whether you're on offense or defense, they, can, they, they really can help you on both sides because it's about being in a, in a stance, accelerating to a point, and then getting yourself back under control. So I'm going to show you, show you a few drills uh, we've been doing here in, in the off season this fall at St. Mary's Riken. The first one here, we're going to start in a nice stance. You can see it's a linebacker stance. We're going to work on taking that first step, having our, our feet underneath our shoulders, having our feet pointing straight ahead. We really want to concentrate on making that first step forward, not false stepping. Okay, pretty good job here uh, by the linebacker. You can see how he, his first step is going to be forward has his weight going forward. Okay, we have them, if they, if they have trouble with that, we have them turn their foot inside a little bit, both their feet, so they're almost pigeon-toed, put the weight in the inside balls of their feet, which is forced them to go forward on their first movement. We have, we have the cones here. That's what the starting point is, the first cone, obviously. Okay, and then they have the four cones. That's gonna be our come to balance. So we wanna go as fast as we can. I call it zero to 60, right, when I talk to these guys. We want to go as fast as we can from the yellow cone to the first cone in line. All right, so I'm going to start in a great stance, great first step. I want to explode and burst. If we don't do this drill uh, full speed, it's not going to help us. As soon as I get to those four cones, at that point, you see he's bursting here, he hits the four cones. Now I'm going to go into where I'm going to sink my hips. I'm going to go heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, right? We call that coming to balance. I'm going to come to balance. We have coach standing there, okay, masked up for COVID, all right? We're going to come to balance right in front. I don't want to touch coach. I want to finish with my, on this situation here, I'm to the left of the cone. I'm going to finish with my left foot right down the middle of coach. I'm finishing in a position where I'm nice and low, and I'm, and I'm starting to hit on the rise. You start, I should see my body go down at the very end and then come up. So let's watch Matt here. That's not bad. See how he's starting to come up? That's really good. I like the heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. In great position. And now I can make a tackle. You can see he's starting to hit on the rise. He's starting to come up. So we want to hit on the rise in a, perfect, in a perfect tackle, right? Shoulder right here on our opponent and uppercut the arms. So pretty good position there. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, again, this is Matt. Now we're coming from a side angle. Okay, we're gonna come, we're gonna beat the block in front of us. Okay, you see the nice rip right there? Work on the rip, stack. So I'm gonna stack him, rip across his face, high rip, get as low as I can, turn my body, and then get in position here to take on a block. Again, it's the same technique though. I'm sprinting up to an opponent. I'm getting my feet underneath of me, heel to toe, heel to toe again, and I'm gonna ex extend on the blocker, collision, create separation, lock out my elbows, and go to the next one. Right there, two, and then rip off the third one. So here's another drill on the turf. Okay, again, we're starting from a point in a stance. These guys are going for a receiver stance. Okay, you see how they explode. This is a great, great example we want. They're gonna explode and then settle. And again, we don't wanna to touch the bag. We have a bag there today instead of a, a person. We want to go right to that bag, and pretty good job with the guy on the left here. You see how he starts to go, he's, he's getting ready to go hit on the rise. Right there, you see he hit last little part, he sinks, his butt drops, and now he's ready to hit on the rise. Okay, whether I'm blocking or tackling, it's going to be the same technique. All right, here's another one, this is the same two, another rep, again, same type of thing. We want to explode from our stance, as you see here, they explode from their stance and get under control. Very good job. The things that tend to happen in this drill that you don't want, you see how their backs, they have a nice angle on their black, I'm sorry, on their back, they have a really good shin angle, okay, um, with their front legs, they're getting ready to tackle. The things you see with young guys, a lot in this drill is gonna be their head's gonna be forward, they're gonna, they're gonna not be able to control their body when we get to the bag, they're gonna be falling into the bag or running past the bag. Uh, we, we wanna get rid of that. We wanna be able to come to balance and be under control. So if I'm blocking or tackling and that guy moves, like he will in a game, I have the ability to get under control and I can move with him, right? And keep my feet in front of him. Okay. 
Now we're going to pick up the bag. Now we use these bags on purpose because they're hard to pick up and it forces you to get low. So we're going to exaggerate how low we are in this drill, as you can see, and it forces you to, we, want to do the, we don't want them to do the bear hugs, we want them to do the uppercuts. And it forces you to use your hips and lift, we want to lift that thing straight up for this drill. Everything's the same in the beginning, right? Coming from a full speed, under control, hit on the rise. Here we go, here's these two guys again. You can see, pretty good job by both of them. They come to balance. Really good job by the guy on the left. Okay, the guy on the right, try to get his hips into a little bit more. We talk about stepping on their toes. You can kind of see his body posture here, a little bit rounded. We wanna, we wanna get low and then hit, and excuse me, and pop our hips, okay, and, and, and hit on the rise on that guy. But you understand what we're trying to accomplish here. Last one. Okay. Okay, now, same kind of drill out in the grass. Again, this is the same kid, Daniel, right here. All right, he's going to attack it. Nice. Really good job. Took away the cones. This is probably, you know, three or four days into it. Take away the cones so they learn how to do it without the cones, right? We don't want to, don't want to be robots. So now they're going to go from your stance. I'm going to burst. I'm going to get close to my target, hit toe, hit toe. I'm going to hit on the rise. Pretty good job. Here's another angle of it. Can you see Daniel? Nice job. Got the uppercuts, and we're going to cross in the back, right? So uppercuts, grab cloth in the back, all right? In good position, and I'm hitting on the rise, and I'm stepping on his toes. These are all the things we talk about. We're talking about blocking or tackling. All right, this drill right here, this is to simulate, um, again, without pads, we have one guy who's the rabbit. The guy on this side is the rabbit. This guy's gonna be the defender. The drill is for him. So our rabbit's job is to, to take the same exact steps. He's working on his burst, come to balance. He's gonna shuffle out of the drill either way. He has to come up and make sure he has his eyes on his hip, pick a hip, and then work out with that guy, come to balance and be able to move my feet and get my feet in front of that guy and be in a position to, to, again, make a tackle or make a block. You see here, he got a little overzealous, slightly out of control at the end, and that's what happens, okay? And then reacts late, and then you gotta catch up and run. In a perfect world, we wanna shuffle with this guy, right? Shuffle with him, stay on that back hip, that's where my eyes are, okay? And get my feet to his feet and step on his toes. Okay, so that was straight on. Now we're going to angle. So now we're talking about tracking the running back. So now the bag, as you can see, is to the side on a 45 degree angle. We have a rabbit over here. Here's our tackler, okay? They're both gonna run to that bag. They tell the rabbit to run to the front corner of the bag, all right? And he's gonna shuffle outside. Now, on this drill, we also give him a two-way go. So he can, he can either run to the front corner of the bag and shuffle this way, or you run to the front corner of the bag and he can cut back the other side. For the defender, we want to stay on that backside hip the whole way and track that backside hip. You're going to see our player here track the backside hip, does a nice job, and once he determines he's going to go this way, he's going to finish the drill. All right, so we'll watch it right here. Good job. See, he's on the backside hip. He's lagging the hip. He's in good position. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Get your toes to his toes. Get your toes to his toes. Good job. Again, all the same principles come in though. Burst, okay, get under control, come to balance. Make sure you're tracking inside out, so I'm tracking that hip. In good position. And you can track the other way too, depending if you're, if you're an edge player, you're a corner, you gotta force everything back inside, now I'm gonna track the other way. I'm gonna track to make sure I keep my, do my job and make the tackle or force it back to my help on the inside. Pretty good job. Okay, here's another way to start the drill. We'll start, we'll start that drill with a rip. So we're going to rip across that guy's face. Good technique. I want to rip across his face and then stack him. Again, you want to get to the cones, come to balance, and fit. Nice job. You notice how his right foot here, the coach is, is kind of to the left of the cones. So our right foot's going to fit right in the middle of coach. Excellent job. Okay, last thing here is just a drill we like to do. Uh, work on a change of direction. 
And what we'll do at the end of this drill sometimes is have a guy standing there to simulate a running back. So again, we'll go through a, a drill of, you know, get there, shuffle, shuffle, turn and run, all things that colleges want to see when you're on campus. And you finish the drill with a player and you break down that player, right? You, you come to balance in front of a player again, always working on those simple techniques.